Hey guys, today I'm going to show you the ripple effect in Sony Vegas. I'm going to show you two different ways, and here's a preview now. So that was the ripple effect, um, what we're going to look at today. So, um, what I've done is I've grabbed my clip, and I split it on every single muzzle flash of the gun. Um, as you can see, um, every bullet uh, that is shot out of the gun, you see a muzzle flash, and I split the uh, video on every single muzzle flash by pressing the S key. Now, what you want to do is you want to create a video track, right click, and insert video track, and now what you want to do is you want to highlight all of those split clips by uh, pressing holding shift and clicking to the end one. Just make sure this first one's highlighted as well. Um, and then what you want to do is hold control, press the U key before you do that, just so it splits your audio. Hold control, drag and drop it up above like this. And then what you want to do is you want to fade it, and as you'll see then it fades all of them. Now this is the quickest way to do it. Then all you do is transitions. What you want to do is go down to iris, scroll down till you see this circle out. like so and as you can see all of them have this kind of effect now what you want to do is you want to go onto the compositing mode custom Sony height map add and ok and as you can see here there's going to be some kind of warping so you want to change this transparent background to wrap pixels around alpha channel and now this part is up to you on how intense you want the effect to be now I have it quite low just so it's like a little pulsing and what you're going to see here, it does that. Okay, so that's the one way that you can do it. And now I'm going to show you another way. Is again create a video track above the clip, and obviously I've got all these split clips here, and um, it's obviously on every single muzzle flash. Now this is the harder way, um, but it can actually look kind of better. So what you want to do is go into media generators, color gradient, scroll down to you see this ring. Then what you want to do is I'm going to split it to the same size as that, or I'll split it on each one. So I go split, split, all the way along, or you can obviously split it to that size. So you can just get one of those and just hold control, drag and drop it across. But you have to keep doing that. So what you can do is now is you can event pan crop it. Um, if you basically start from really large like this and you create keep going till it's really small put that in the center and then you go to the end keyframe and then you press default and then shrink it in so it's like this what you're going to see on this first one here is that it does this again then all you have to do is go compositing mode custom cine height map add ok Again, use the same settings, depending on how intense you want it to be. Um, but that's basically what that will look like. Um, I usually just delete all of these ones instead, and then I just copy and paste this one and create a new source of uh, media. Um, and that's what I do for every single one. Um, but I obviously do it the other way because it's quicker. Um, but this is what this one will look like. So it's a bit... Um, it's a bit stronger of an effect, but um, it, it works basically the same. Um, but it still looks pretty good. So uh, that's both ways that you can do it. And obviously this is what it looks like. Okay, that's both ways that you can do it. Um, comment, rate, subscribe. Um, some more tutorials will be coming out soon, so catch you guys later.